because I walked on a stage at Miss Universe in front of millions of people in a bikini, I get asked a lot about how to feel more confident in a bathing suit, in a bikini. These are my tips. These are my tips. First and foremost, you need to have a proper fitting bathing suit or bikini. It needs to fit you in the ways that you want, it needs to fit in the right places, and it needs to complement what you want to showcase more or maybe cover what you want to cover more. And by that, I mean I've always been a bit self-conscious about this situation, and so I always look for bathing suits that cover more here, more of like a sports bra type bathing suit, if you will. I don't go for like the V bikinis, the deep cuts, that's not for me. And then. I like a higher cut bottom in the legs. For example, right now I'm loving one pieces and I love like a higher one piece leg situation because I feel like that elongates my legs and just complements my body better. I actually feel like that makes anyone's legs look longer. So maybe like a higher waist, higher cut. Finding a bathing suit that is good quality thick material that's going to support you in the ways you want to be supported. I'm loving one pieces right now. I had a baby a year ago, so I feel like sometimes I'm still a bit self-conscious about the kind of like loose skin, I guess. So having a one piece to kind of keep everything together, you feel comfortable when you're sitting. Next, if you want a bit of an extra glow, I like using different products to get the glow. This one is actually called Goldie Rocks Glow Oil. It's an illuminating cream lotion but it basically just gives you more of like a goldy glow and if you want to boost your confidence by having like a bit of a fake tan a bit of a fake glow i like using this james reed gradual tan coconut melting face and body balm and it's really nice because it is coconut based and it just like melts in your hands and i really like it Next, this one is something that is more recent in my life and that is laser hair or IPL hair removal. I love having smooth legs, smooth underarms. Not everyone likes that, which is totally fine to each their own. I have been using this Kenzie IPL laser hair removal handset. I use it on my underarms, legs, bikini line, and it has been so awesome. I've already seen results in five weeks of using it. It is so easy. It is awesome. I highly highly recommend if you have wanted to do like a laser hair removal but you don't have time you can do this at home kenzie has actually given me a code for 50 dollars off your own handset so if you use the code sb50 you can get 50 dollars off your own handset next if you are competing in a pageant or you're having a shoot something that i learned from being in the pageant world is putting a large size band-aid on your bikini bottoms on the crotch of your bottoms I'm not gonna explain any more than that. That's all you need to know because I think you, you get what it does. <laughs> and my last tip is very simple and that is to have confidence, be confident. When we are insecure and when we are thinking that people are looking at our stomach, our butts, our arms, and we're you know shifting and pulling and adjusting and trying to sit different so that we look a different way, people notice that more than anything like they would notice you fidgeting and looking self-conscious more than what you're being self-conscious about so just being confident out there knowing that you are enough you are worthy you are beautiful the way you are and that people truly don't care they don't care they might be insecure themselves and feeling uncomfortable themselves and they are not even noticing it's easier said than done it's absolutely easier said than done but when i was at miss universe i had so many people messaging me commenting on my instagram calling me fat miss piggy way trying to bring me down and bring down my confidence and if anything it gave me more confidence knowing that I was up there being myself representing myself representing other people who have ever felt like they're not good enough that they couldn't fit in because I have been many different sizes in my life and let me tell you I have never been more self-conscious and had low self-esteem and felt like not myself when I was a small small size that wasn't really who I was so I do want you to know that even if you are a different size like if you feel like oh i would be more confident if i was this size i would be less self-conscious if i was this weight it isn't going to happen that's not where the confidence that not that's not where the self-esteem and self-worth stems from it comes from within and as soon as you start loving yourself for who you are loving yourself in the moment that confidence is going to come out that confidence is going to shine and that is going to be what people will notice about you <laughs>